Hi, this is Kevin Jorgensen, Dairy Sire Analyst at Select Sires. I want to spend just a few moments talking about our red and white program, where we've been and where we're headed. When you think about the impact that this organization has had on red and white cattle, all one has to do is look at the latest Select Sires Impact Sires print and see an Advent Red right at the front of that print. We've had a great run of great influential red and white sires, and we look forward to that in the future. What we want to do in the red and white program is add interesting and unique sires that can change the breed, not only red and white, but black and white as well. Advent was a bull that could do that. We look forward to bulls like that in the future. We're going to bring in seven of the most influential red sires in the breed today that can change things from both a production type and health trait respect. We've been able to do that in the past. I'm confident we will in the future. All one has to do is look at our current lineup and bulls like Carson Red, who's a tremendous influence for production of over 1,400, a great tight bull, and a bull that will meet both black and white and red and white market. In addition, a bull like Colt P. Red fits all of our markets. He's a bull that's high fertility. He's a bull that's high health traits. He's one of the few progeny proven red and pulled sires available and his calling card is going to be those great udders. As we look to the future, you can look at bulls like Armani. Maybe one of the hottest sires in the industry going today, both black and white and red and white, because he makes those tremendously beautiful calves. He fits the showcase selections designation, and his calves are the talk of the town out there. The new bull that just came in here in April, Dresser, he's a McCutcheon son from an observer, and then the 94-point Curvale Goldwyn Delicious Cow. He's a bull that's over 1,800 pounds of milk. He's 62 of protein, a bull that we're going to use as a sire farther to make that next generation of red and white cattle. So as I mentioned, our focus is going to be to have a bull that moves the red and white population forward, but yet a crossover bull that can meet the needs of both black and white and red and white producers. It's our goal that we want to continue to move the red and white breed forward. All one has to do is look at the red and white show at World Dairy Expo and think of how much progress we've made in the last 10 years. We want to continue the breed on that path, and that's going to be our focus in the sire department.